Hey everyone, it's Daniel Mogg, and today I wanna to show you my file structure and how I organize all my projects in Premiere Pro. Today I wanna to talk about this subject that's probably not the most eye-popping, but it's absolutely crucial to your editing process, especially if you're trying to turn a project around on a tight deadline. For today, I'm gonna to use a real life project. I just wrapped up a commercial shoot with Bose and Malik Willis for the NFL draft. And it was a very quick shoot. I only had about 24 hours on the ground in Atlanta to film everything and then about five days to turn it all around. There was a number of assets. So keeping everything organized and in sync was critical to hitting that deadline. So I'm gonna take you inside this case study and show you how I organize everything. Oh, we just wrapped the shoot in Atlanta with Malik Willis for this NFL draft project I've been working on. I'm going to walk you through my process um, and how I set up everything inside of Premiere Pro and in Finder. So I have my hard drive here. I have my project, which I just go by the date, the uh, name, the client, and kind of the subject. And then from here, this is my universal folder that I use every single time that I'm in Premiere Pro. So starting here, audio, and then inside I have the effects um, for some sound effects, uh, any production audio files that go in here. In this case, everything was synced up to the camera. There was an extra audio and then soundtrack for all my music. The build folder is where everything that is exported lives. So here's all my rough cuts here. And then I have my exported stills and then the final um, exports here live in this finals folder, which that gets uploaded to Dropbox and then sent to the client. Conform is where my scratch disks are saved inside of Premiere. Conversions, any um, files that I potentially convert would live in this folder. I don't use it a whole lot, but it's nice to have. And then footage, um, this is really kind of the main folder where all of the media live. So in this instance, it was a little bit of a complex shoot. I did the main shoot in Atlanta. We hired another creator in Cincinnati to do another shoot. And then we also had to coordinate a Zoom call between Russell and Sauce Gardner um, the day of as well. And so I wanted to keep all these different files together, but separate. And then Lightroom, I had a batch of photos to edit and that lives inside of here as well. I, I haven't typically done that in the past, but because this was so project specific, I tried it out this time and it worked just fine. So here we are, I have Malik here and I uh, mixed a couple different formats on here. So for every single camera, I create a new folder. So I've got the 1DX here, which we use for a couple different things, as you can see. And then the Blackmagic 6K Pro, um, I did shoot B-RAW in this instance, actually, um, and liked um, what I, with the results that I got with it. So all the 6K Pro lives in here. And then I also use an iPhone, especially for the opener, to just really kind of create um, that hook for viewers to um, just go off the top of the video. And so the iPhone video is there, and then all my stills live in this folder here. So and then backing out, same thing for sauce. I have the phone videos here, the still photos, and then uh, the video footage lives inside of here. And then the Zoom call, I was the host on my end. Uh, and as you can see, uh, I uploaded everything and saved it here. The next is graphics. Uh, again, I didn't use this folder a ton, but you can put animations, any logos, uh, which I did have for bows here. And then let's see, and then lower thirds, mats, stills. I, did, I didn't put the stills in this folder in this instance because they were so crucial. And then any notes, say if you're using text files, word files, anything from the client, that'll live in here. And then my um, Premiere Pro project file lives in there. So that's my basic setup. What I do is I have just a blank uh, Finder folder if you're on a Mac, or you can do this on a PC. Um, this is my universal folder system. And so uh, I have just a blank one of those. So every time I have a new project, I name it, and then I copy and paste this folder structure into the um, 
into the main project file and shout out to story and heart who um, I learned this folder structure from and then kind of modified on my own. So then basically I take everything and mirror it inside of Premiere Pro once it's in there. Um, the ones that I do add are sequences. Sequences are huge for me. like to try to keep everything organized. And pretty much any time I make a new cut, uh, I start a new sequence. So, you know, let's this is the string out clips here where I put them all together. And then my next cut start separately here with some audio. And so really anytime uh, I send a cut over to a client, I start over and make a new sequence. That way, if there's anything that needs to be adjusted or go back, that is in place. One quick tip that I wanted to show you is that if you're in here, say from my string out clips, right? What I do is I have a main sequence and then of just the raw clip, I'm just gonna use for illustrative purposes. And then, you can actually stack these. Let me see here. So you can actually stack these. And so the way I put this together was this timeline was originally blank and the cuts and takes that I liked from um, this finder here, this sequence here, I would just copy and paste it down onto here. So I'll have to probably make another video for that. That could be more in depth, but just a quick little tip as I'm going through my Premiere Pro folder structure here. So sequences, I have Malik and his own, Ben, Sauce and his own, and then Russ's, um, Russ had his own cut uh, for his social that lives here as well. As I mentioned, everything is just mirrored inside. You have the soundtrack, different audio effects, the still photos, and then the audio. So that is the basic way that I set up my Premiere Pro projects every single time. I try to make them as organized as possible. It's honestly really hard to do as you're really going quick. Um, so what I try to do is if, if the project is a mess when I'm done, I'll kind of go back and put the items in their respective bin. So that way when I open it, um, it's nice and clean, uh, which I've, I've done with this because this project <laughs> was a mess, I, I, I will admit, uh, when I was done with it. But I cleaned it up. And so that's the basic folder file structure. So if you want to take some notes and um, hopefully use that in your projects going forward, I think it would be super helpful. It's really been a great structure for me to keep all my project files organized. So if you like this video or if you want to see more videos like this tutorial, please hit that like button and subscribe. I would be greatly appreciative. And check out this video here. This is how I edit my Lightroom photos. I think you'll really enjoy it along with my Lightroom presets. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.